Buenos dias a todos. Welcome all. And safe practices are in order. I hope you're home. Don't forget to always wash your hands, soap and water. Wear your face mask covering your nose and your mouth. When you finish with it, remember, use the handles to take it off and do not touch the front part of it, okay? All right, so let's see what we have for us today. What it is we're going to be doing today. All right, so I saw that my thing is giving me a lot of trouble, so I'm not going to change this. Okay, so excuse me for having it like this. So we are doing pollinators. When we speak about pollinators, we speak about birds, bees, butterfly, bats, right? So I want to just show you all something. So here I have a plant. And if you look carefully, can you tell me what type of plant do I have? Right, so I have it in a pot here. That's my, that's my fake pollinator, which is a bird. You can see him here, right? Right, so if you look carefully, you will see there are tomatoes. Now I don't have any flowers on it, but the flowers look something like this, okay? And in the inside, if I put my hand in it, you will see that yellow fuzz. You see a little bit of yellow? That came from the inside here. So a butterfly or a bee or a hummingbird came to one of these flowers. Let me see. So I have some little flowers here. And right after they came there, you would see a swollen base eventually forming the fruit. All right. So here. I am seeing too visible, but here it's a bit far for you to see. But all here, I have little tomatoes that are being formed, which was at first flowers, all right? So with the help of the pollinators, the butterflies, the bees, the bats, the, the birds, hummingbird, because the hummingbird tends to like small flowers, this is what resulted in the formation of this fruit. Oh, and you're here in the hummingbird in the background. So let's go back now. So I chose a simple plant for you, which I think you can do. Because I feel that, um, I felt that the, um, I felt that the uh, tomato plant would have been a little too hard for you to do. So, I'm looking at the pumpkin plant. And if you look at the pumpkin plant, you would see this is the flower and a pollinator, bee, bird, or butterfly would have gone in here and call, and that is where we are getting our pumpkin forming. Here's the flower, which will eventually drop off. So the first stage you would have the flower, and then you'll have the pollinator, which will go into it, right? So let's go slideshow current slide right so here we see it a little better okay so if you look carefully at the flower it resembles something that you know a shape that you know that's right it resembles the shape of a star and if you look carefully at the leaf follow my cursor it looks like an upside down heart so keeping that in mind let's see what we can do next Okay, so this is looking at it again, closer again, right? So here we have the flower, it's swollen, right? The base is swollen and the pumpkin is forming and eventually this is going to fall out. That, is, that has happened because the pollinator came to it. All right, so we start to draw this. So let me get the pencil, right? Um, so the flower, I'm just showing, look at the shape of it. It looks like an open Y. So you're gonna put your page on landscape. And here I have it here in pencil. Let me try and trace it over for you for you to see. Okay. So it, oh, it looks like an open U, leaving it open like that. So we begin in the shape of the flower, right? The base of the flower, the pumpkin flower. All right, so let's look at the stages. So we have the base of the flower here, and then secondly, so after you did the Y, 
Then we start to do the bulge, the forming of the pumpkin, right? Let me try and get the mouse here to form that bulge here. Here we have the other bulge, right? You're hearing all the birds around here, my pollinators in my yard, right? After you do that, we start to make the start. Now the flower, because it has started the pollination process, it doesn't take a specific shape. So that's okay if you kind of go like that, okay? Right? That's the flower. And then we extend the base of the stem, right? Oh, my line got a little crooked there. That's okay because the pumpkin is a vine and we start to make the leaf. Now, if you want, you could turn it upside down. The leaf of the pumpkin is not a perfect heart, but it is a heart, okay? And that goes to the end of your page. And here we have our pumpkin plant. So we did it in stages here. Next, we want to do the bumblebee. So if you look at the bee, the bee, body of the bee is an insect. So it's made of three parts. You have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen, right? So the head, if you look at it carefully, it looks like the letter D. So here I am trying to make the letter D with the cursor. And then you have like a, a circular thorax, right? So here I am going to do my circular thorax. And if you look at the abdomen, it looks like a, an elongated D. So here we have it here, an elongated D, but it kind of points at the bottom here. Now the reason why it points, I hope you've never got stung by a bee, but somebody who gets stung by a bee, they normally scream out and cry. You see this point here? That's where the stinger goes. That's one part of the stinger. Sometimes they might get stung there. And that part there, that's why there's a little peak there. Or sometimes at the, there's a little bite here. But sometimes you get stung at this point here, right? And if you look at the, the wings, the wings look like a, a weird kind of triangle. So you can make, now the triangle is attached at the thorax. Okay, so let's go over it again. So you have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So the wings go to that middle section. Let's look at it here. You can actually see it, the wings, right? And it looks like a little triangle. Look at that wing. And they're clear wings. It's like a little triangle and a little odd shaped triangle because it has three sides, but it's at it's here at the thorax. Okay. So here we have the bee, and I started drawing the butterfly. Now a butterfly also has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. I want you to choose your butterfly, right? Your butterfly has two front wings. My next drawing would show you the stages, right? So you have two front and two butterfly, two, two lower wings. And again, it starts at the thorax. So you have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And then you have your anther, okay? Now, when you're drawing your butterfly, I want you to think about which butterfly you want to draw. So this butterfly is the postman butterfly. This butterfly is the, let me see, did I put the name? Yes, I did. So we have the male scarlet butterfly and we have the red postman butterfly, okay? So you will look and decide which one you want to do. Then we have the milkweed butterfly, very common that you see everywhere. And you can notice it by the colors, right? The milkweed and the lines, it's outlined in black. It's also inside with orange with lines. So let me just go back again, right? So when you draw your butterfly, this is where you'll need abuelo or mommy or daddy's help to find the butterfly that you want to draw, okay? So, right, 
So today's work, we're not doing the coloring as yet mm -hmm. because I'm quite aware of some of you, you may not have paints or paint brushes, but you have crayons or colored pencils. In our next lesson, you can use your crayons, your colored pencils. If you want, when we do in the background, if you have paint, you can use it. If you don't, you can use your crayons and colored pencils. But for this lesson, I want to see your drawings. If you want to add, I want to see two pollinators. You can have the bee and a butterfly, but make sure you know which butterfly, because when it comes to coloring, I want to see a butterfly, right? If you're doing bees, I want two bees, okay? So, all right, guys, so I want to end this lesson now. My neighbors. Put back on your face mask. Notice you use only the ends here to put it on. You do not touch the front. Stay safe, girls. And I pray for protection. I pray for good health for you and your family. Adios.